Prince Harry, 32, was scheduled to fly home to London from Barbados on Sunday instead he went to Toronto and spent the night with girlfriend Meghan Markle. The 35-year-old actress was spotted wearing the $240 necklace just 24 hours earlier when she was seen picking up flowers. The 14-carat gold asymmetrical letter necklace is by Los Angeles-based designer Maya Brenner and features a tiny M and H. Meghan Markle has ensured there is no doubt over the status of her relationship with Prince Harry by wearing their first initials side by side on her chest. The 35-year-old actress was pictured shopping in Toronto, Canada, on Saturday wearing a personalised gold necklace that appears to be subtly decorated with the letters M and H. It comes as the 32-year-old prince made a 1,700-mile diversion to see his girlfriend on his way back to Britain from his tour of the Caribbean. Spell out your love like Meghan Meghan Markle subtly shows the world who's the love in her life with her initials necklace by Maya Brenner, a LA-based designer. They say good things come in small packages and in this case the old adage definitely rings true. The necklace is delicate and dainty. It works perfectly as an everyday piece. This little beauty just shot to the top of our Christmas wish list. This exact one is up for grabs, but make it your own with you and your booze initials. Click to the right to buy it now from Bobo Bar. Or check out our edit full of bargains below. Nothing is over $50. Prices may not be as advertised. Now get one like Megan's The 14 karat gold necklace is by Los Angeles-based designer Maya Brenner whose jewelry has been worn by celebrities including Kendall Jenner, Myla Kunis and Ashley Graham. A spokeswoman for the jewelry company confirmed that Megan wore the asymmetrical letter and number necklace which comes in white, yellow and rose gold. It costs $240 with one letter, but the company charges an extra $60 for each additional letter. It is not the first time that Meghan has used jewellery to show her feelings for the prince. The couple regularly wear matching beaded bracelets. Prince Harry was scheduled to fly home to London from Barbados on Sunday in time for official engagements this week. But instead the royal stopped off in Toronto to spend the night with the actress, who is based in the city while filming US legal drama suits. The impromptu visit might explain why Meghan appeared in such good spirits as she bought fresh flowers on Saturday, just 24 hours before Harry boarded the plane. A friend told the son, Harry just couldn't wait to see her. He was due to fly back to London on a British Airways flight with the rest of his entourage.
but he changed his mind and diverted straight to see her as they couldn't bear to be apart. It's just another sign of how head over heels he is about her. He is absolutely besotted. We've never seen him so happy, it's great. The couple have yet to make an official appearance together but Meghan continues to drop subtle hints about the budding relationship on social media. The actress posted a photo showing her dog Guy dressed in a Union Jack printed coat. Writing on social media, she said of her dog's outfit, for the love of hand-me-downs. This was Bogart's sweater as a puppy. Now it's keeping Guy warm. Pup love adopted on shop reducer is a recycle. The day before Harry made the six-hour flight to Toronto, Meghan was seen picking up bouquets of flowers. Hours earlier the actress was seen stocking up on basics such as kitchen roll and water during a trip to a grocery store. It could be that Prince Harry had informed his girlfriend of his plans to visit and that she was stocking up on essentials ahead of his arrival. Prince Harry made the visit to Toronto at the end of his 15-day tour of the Caribbean on behalf of the Queen. His final days were spent in Guyana, the only English-speaking country in South America which became independent from Britain in 1966. He flew over Canyatur, one of the highest free-fall waterfalls in the world, before landing at a tourist centre a few hundred metres away. Not content with observing from afar, an intrepid Prince Harry wandered up to the edge of the falls, which are not blocked off by any barriers. On a small outcrop of rock, he was given a close-up view of the rushing water with its deafening sound filling his ears. He leaned a little forward to look at the ground below but then grimaced and shook his hands in mock horror. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.